Hello folks, welcome back. You can tell this is a special day. The Crown Jewel. Yes. For I'm the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. My chief furry officer is observing me. You don't see my chief furry officer. There she is. Just making sure I go through with what I'm supposed to be doing, I guess. Who knows what I'm really supposed to be doing. But yes, I'm here to talk about AEW. And before I get to that, I have two, well, I don't know about special, but two people to shout out to. Finner. Yep. I think we were talking. I forget what we were talking about. Wow, I really do forget what I was what we were talking. Probably the state of the AEW women's division. Yeah. That sounds that that sounds like something I would talk about. You sir always win twice by six count. Victoria Coomer, you told Nikki Cross to take it all off? Those are my thank yous. Um, sometime tomorrow, you know what? I'm not going to do stand and deliver. It shows at one. It's a weird time. It's WrestleMania weekend. Um, I may or may not catch parts of it. Mon uh, Saturday or Sunday. Sunday I'll probably catch more. It all depends on the weather. Because I do have to hobo. That's WrestleMania. I can catch the highlights of it later. Um, Monday, next week though, it's good, because I get to work, my at-home job, kind of relaxed, really up until Friday, and then that's it for my one job, I'm free, freedom, 
Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Um, the big date. The last day, yeah. <laughs> Orlando Science Center. Date. Well, it'll be Easter. That means a little revisitation of the Daytona Beach Bumfight League. And then, oh, my Cinco de Mayo special. Memorial Day, so there's two shows then. Nothing till July 4th. So, yeah. But you know what? That's a little bit of what's going on in my life. Let's talk about some pro wrestling. We started with Lock Mussolini and Gandhi. He's a cult of personality. Yep, we have CM Punk versus Max Caster. Max Caster on point as usual. Max Caster very quickly is becoming one of my favorite wrestlers, or at least personas, in all of AEW wrestling. Uh, starts off, uh, CM Punk and Max Caster, they trade some arm ringers. <laughs> Max Caster, the heel thing. Can't do it to me because I don't have much, but he pulls the hair of CM Punk. Yeah, CM Punk has, I guess, an... Did he pull the hair? Does he have the crew cut nowadays? I need to pay more attention to that. Yeah, he gets Punk in the corner. Yeah, and he does that catch backbreaker. Oh, wow. Punk, inverted atomic drop, old school wrestling move. Still the best. Max Caster, I don't think it was a fisherman's buster. Fisherman Buster means you go down. Fisherman Suplex, you go back. So I think this was the Fisherman Suplex he hit. Uh, again, Excalibur on his moves. Set. Ugh. The Man with a Mask. We'll get more to the Man with a Mask for tomorrow, too. But yeah, um, Fisherman Suplex. CM Punk at the Bulldog, a little back and forth between the two. So that was good. Max Caster, the, uh, the near coast to coast. CM Punk hit the pile driver. That should have been it. I'm not as upset because normally the, my pile, pile driver should be absolute finisher. But then he put in the Anaconda Vice. I could see that happening. CM Punk wins. Because again, when the mirror speaks, the reflection lies. But yeah, you know what? Sell match, cheeseburger match. Actually, surprisingly, this was actually a pretty good show. Uh, MJF and FTR promo. FTR's not buying the kicking out of Wardlow. They don't like that. MJF is like, yeah, do what I do. What I do. Uh, then we had Jay Lethal versus John. Yeah, wait. Ooh, yeah. I'm the macho king and Jay Lethal as I would shake his hand any day. Yeah. Jay Lethal versus Wild Thing. You make my heart sing. You make everything groovy. Wild thing. Well, no, I don't love you, but he's John Moxley. Um, there is no handshake to start off. Uh, Jay begins to work over both arms of John Moxley. Go into the little yay boost section. And then there was like an inadvertent knee to the balls. Wait a second. How is that inadvertent? Hmm. Jay Lethal does does dives. Uh, Moxley the chops. Jay counters with chops. Remember, woo, 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 woo. Gotta woo my cat. Woo. I don't even know what she's staring at. Are you staring at my balls of scotch? That's reserved for Doctor Keller, Doctor Tom. Not you, Chispa. Kittens don't drink scotch. Stop staring at those bottles. But yeah. Um, woo! So yeah. Jay Lethal can deliver some chops. There was no lethal injection. It was countered with a sleeper hold. Um, Jay Lethal. He did the macho elbow. Ooh, yeah. A little distance involved. Yeah. 
You just to hit that pile driver first. Yeah. Or suplex. Yeah. I like the suplex. Followed by a pile driver and the macho elbow. Yeah. Yeah, hit the macho elbow. Uh, Mox kind of jumped up from that. Hit a paradigm shift pretty fast. You know what? Jay Lethal earned John Moxley's respect. They shake hands afterwards. Bravo! <laughs> oh no, yeah, that was later. Steven Regal's the best. Yeah, solid cheeseburger match. Muni Shafira did a promo. And oh my good, great googly moogly. She got old quick. I feel bad for you, Roddy. I don't know. You know that, that hairstyle of hers made her look at least 20 years older than what she should be. Which is not necessarily a good thing for women. Especially in Florida. Ladies, if you're a blonde in Florida, you're going to age like 20 times faster than you ever normally would. And then we had, Cause I'm the ass boys! Versus FTR. Um, starts off very classic wrestling technique. Uh, one of the Gun Brothers, uh, the hammer lock, the drop to hold. Again, anytime I see classic moves like that, I'm always happy. Good farms take on by Dax, I think, or Cash. I, I always get the two of them confused now. I had so much time trying to figure out who they were as the revival. Now I'm just, I don't know, clueless. You see them so, so infrequently too. Um, although I did write their names on a few times. So, Billy. Um, FTR again, great tag team work on the outside. One of the FTR got there. Billy said, Suck that bitch. Oh, what language use on a family TV show? No bueno. Rain to stop. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. Stupid weather forecast. Um, yeah, then Dax in rights and left. Colton swept the leg. That was pretty good. And Wardlow comes out. And this, like, stops everything. Remember, MJF was on part of the announce team. And he just beat up security for the most part. So maybe AEW is listening to one James E. Cornette. Who knows? Um, it was too much for fake security. Again, back in the match, he gets dist distracted by everyone. Uh, good leapfrog. Again, great rope running. Great movement from both teams. Again, you have Billy Gunn probably coaching up his sons. FCR is just as good as anything. FCR hit the shatter machine. Are they going to have a face turn? Are they going to turn on MJF? We'll see. Again, solid match. Cheeseburger match. Again, a little bit too much of a distraction with Wardlow showing up. I can deal with that, though. Uh, Chris Jericho and his group, the Jericho Appreciation Society, they get jumped by LAX, and it's just a brawl. Then we had a Jade Cargill promo segment. Um, I could really care less. She just wants entertainers there. She wants the strippers. The women who take their clothing off for money. Who knows? Especially after that big smooch she gave Ty Conti. Oh my. As Sulu would say. Oh my. And then the next match we had... Daniel Bryanson taking on Wheeler Yuta. And of course, Lord Steven Regal said, Yes, hello, the man with the mask. And yes, JR, a pleasure to sit next to you. Tony Schiavone, yes, I shall yield my seat to you. But still, I want to watch this match from this perspective. Steven Regal, so great. I shall call him Lord Steven Regal. He'll always be Lord Steven Regal to me. Um. Oh, Wheeler we, 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 Yuta has some collegiate wrestling skills. Good basic takedown. 
little collegiate writing action there. Again, always a straight the uh, the Greco-Roman lock. Went back and forth a little bit. Daniel O'Brien turned that into Juju Gatami. Again, you throw in judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, collegiate wrestling. Amazing stuff. Yeah, I don't even know if this thing's centered yet. Uh, all I know, there's the door of wrestling. And my chief fuzzy officer's taking a nap now. Ooh, I gotta get things. Uh, where was I now? Oh, Wheeler Yuta put on the Indian Deathlock. <laughs> Classic stuff. This was so good. Uh, Daniel O'Brien. I uh, kicked him. Kicked Wheeler Yuta. Again, classic yes kicks. They trade chops. Yuta, amazing German suplex. Encountered the calamutilation, which is really good, into the seatbelt. Whenever I see people twisting other themselves and others and weird things, old school wrestling stuff. Um, Daniel Bryan then going to hit the knee plus. <laughs> you just literally spat. It was a juicy one too, right in the face of Daniel Bryan. He hit the gotch pile driver and the label lock. I'll tell you what. And of course, during the match, the ref went one, the ref went two, and he didn't get to three, but the whole crowd said two. That was good. I got that. I missed that. Following matches goes for one fall. One fall. One. Two. Sweet. Again, always good stuff. Um, yeah, hit the label lock. Daniel O'Brien wins. Surf and turf match. And then we had Red Dragon. Oh, I forgot. Oh, Ghost of Roddy Piper. He's already a character in the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League. Something else. Kyle Rai still plays the belt. Like the air guitar master he is. And they only have five balloons in the, in, in the box. And then Adam Page comes driving into the ring. And I'll tell you what. Hangman and Page lost a little respect with him. He drove a Tesla car into the ring with the steer horns. The steer horns were almost as wide as a Tesla car. It just doesn't work. If you're going to have steer horns on a car, it has to be like the Dukes of Hazard Boss Hoss, Boss Hog, like old school boat Cadillac. Not a Tesla. Page. Not a Tesla. Then there was a little Thunder Rosa promo. And then it was the bunny taking on, surprise, Tony Storm. Tony Storm lost weight. Her butt did not look as round as it should be. Or as it was in WWE. And, and her boobies got smaller. And the worst thing of all. I, I can't see it. I saw a rib cage. That is the number one turnoff with me, with women, if I can see your individual ribs. That's disgusting. Number two turnoff tattoos of flaming skulls and other. How do I put this? If you're a woman, I understand getting cute little animals on you. I understand flowers. I understand fairies. I guess if you're a lesbian, a pinup girl. But when you have like flaming skulls drinking bottle with Jack Daniels, to me that's just a turnoff. Again, many debates about this. If you're going to have like a flower anklet, awesome. If you're going to have a little like a flower waistband, 
awesome. Cute little fairies and a flower as a tramp stamp. Cool. I'll do many things to that tattoo and that part of your body. Um, that and if you put like the other turn off with tattoos and women, if it says lick here and there's an arrow pointing down, down south beneath the Mendoza line. Yeah, that's not cool either. But yeah. Where was I? Yeah, Tony Storm. Again, she looked to be thinner. Yes. I don't know. Bunny just shoves Tony Storm. Tony then just slaps the bunny right across the face. Um, the big European uppercut by Tony Storm. Again, she is from Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Um, and this was like way too even a match to have a debuting Tony Storm. And it's for the Owen Hart, Matt, Owen Hart Classic Tournament. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know how they got away with that. Owen Hart was a WWE wrestler. So yeah, now uh, they did some yay boos and bunny bites like the back of and bites. Tony Storm does the, the Hulk Hogan back rake. Um, Tony did the hip attack in the corner. The bunny hit the death valley driver super kick. But yeah, Tony then just hit the pile driver. Yeah, they said it's the Storm Zero. No, that's that's a pile driver. I know what a pile driver looks like. That's a pile driver. It might be a Cactus Jack sit down pile driver. Like that kind of like way he like just gets you, pulls you up by your pants and just kind of like flops down. But it's still a pile driver though. Uh, Tony Storm wins. Meh. I just didn't care. Ham sandwich match. And we had. Excuse me! Uh, Tony and Vicky were over there along with Nile Rose. Nile, Nile Rose's voice got a little deeper there. I think Nile Rose is a deeper voice than myself and others. Her voice is definitely deeper than Adam Cole, baby! Boom! But yeah. Uh, and then the main event of the evening. We had Darby Allen versus Andrade El Idolo. Andrade started to beat up Darby outside the ring. So the match didn't officially get started. And then Darby, for whatever reason, whatever move Darby Allen does, it looks like he's just trying to kill himself. Like he just like launches himself head first into like barricades and just hopes Andrade's there. Um, Andrade El Idolo again, all his classic moves. This was a short match, too. Um, eventually, Andrade El Idolo wins. And then, of course, the Butcher and the Blade, they jump Sting, beat him up. Private Party come out. Then Matt and Jeff Hardy, the Hardy Boys, come out. And the, I just saw, the next thing I saw was a, a, a table and a chair in the ring. And again, this was match was just way too short. Darby Allen looks like he's going to kill himself. The match was good. I mean, it was okay. Again, I'm not doing any of that stuff either of them are doing. So I can't give it a ham sandwich. It's because I couldn't have that match. But yeah, that was a cheeseburger match. Uh, if I could, I'll say cheeseburger match. Honestly, it's just a hamburger. So I'm wondering if they're going to tease some like TLC match in the future. Who knows? And that was AEW. So I have my predictions somewhere. Um, Chief Fuzzy Officer, you have my predictions? She's just ignoring me. But yeah, um, I'll probably get those up tomorrow. Doesn't matter, Saturday. Only thing I honestly want to see about WrestleMania weekend, I just want to see what Scott Steiner says. I want to see him like come in there and like swear he's going to murder Hogan. That would make me laugh. And Rick Steiner <laughs> always was kind of a goof. 
But yeah. Other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please enjoy WrestleMania weekend. And then, I only, by the time this video is up, I only have one, about well, actually eight more days of suspension. So that means, oh, I get a live stream again. And that's going to be so glorious. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll catch everyone later. Enjoy WrestleMania, I guess. Bye.